Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. No, no, I'm too tired to act like I'm hyper. Yesterday, the 10th day, I wrote 1,225 for NaNoWriMo, which is just 400 short of the goal. I really wanted to actually make the goal and keep writing late last night. Well, it wasn't even that late, but I had to be really careful what I write late at night because my when it gets uh, around midnight, my brain gets really susceptible to anxiety attacks and I start to freak out over the smallest things that are a little scary or creepy and the only thing I can write about that time is, is cute or funny stuff and this scene really wasn't. When I felt the scene start to affect me, I had to stop short. Today I'm doing better though. I reached the part in the story that I have been waiting for, the part that to me it's when it feels like that's when the story really starts in chapter 18. But I just knew, and this is part of the reason I wasn't that worried about all those not as good word counts up to this point, and that I keep getting more and more behind. Because once I reach that point in the story where it really feels like everything starts to just really starts to begin, the excitement from it makes my pace pick up. I had a feeling that this would happen. And so far it seems that it has. I just now maybe wish that I had it insisted on having filler scenes just so I'm showing all the characters and making it take forever to get to this part. Also on yesterday I wrote 31 on two different files. Both have to do with hopefully future videos. I already mentioned that I suffer from anxiety attacks so I thought I needed to put together some tips about how to deal with that. I also found a post for an old blog post I, I did that I wanted to revamp. It was um, writer's problems. I have just this huge list. Not that huge, but this is a list of uh, 20 writer's problems. It's supposed to be humorous, but it, something about just the text didn't quite hit me as funny as it should have been, and I was thinking I would redo them on these little pictures <clears throat> but again they weren't really that great and now I think how I really make them better is to go over them in a video. I'd like to do those soon but with NaNoWriMo just starting to kick off I really don't think I'll be able to. I've also got the one other blog post I've been meaning to do for months and I might need to do it first. <laughs> it was supposed to be to celebrate my book coming out and um in Kindle and I never got around to it. So then I was going to make it to celebrate it coming out in print and I still never got around to it because that was months ago. And it's looking like at this rate it'll be for my next book coming out. But anyway, 1,256 was all I wrote yesterday. Unless you want to count songs in Tomodachi life. How do your NaNoWriMo's usually go? Is an upward trend, a downward trend? Does it go in zigzags? Do you beat it in two weeks like my brother did that first one? Mine's definitely an upward trend and starts pretty slow, though not usually as slow as it this year. And it's the point in the story that it feels like to me is the, you know, first Final Fantasy, how you there was you do a little bit of the game, but then once you cross the bridge, it goes and thus your adventure begins. Always have a little bit of the story that's that first dungeon, and then they cross the bridge, and thus their adventure begins, and it's that that point. For me, of course, there's not really a tower and a bridge, and it doesn't really say that, but you keep putting it I'd love to hear from you. Please talk to me. And would you look at that? I'm more awake. Back to writing. This is Peace, Love, Pink, Saniat.